Good evening. Good evening, my YouTube, my Facebook friends. Uh, welcome to this special episode of Across the Desk with Pastor Clark. I won't be in here long tonight. I just got on here tonight just to clear the air about a couple of things that was said that come across my desk that was said and stuff that I heard. First of all, let me clear that with saying this. You know, never do I claim to know everything it is about the Bible. But one thing I do claim, I know that what I know. You know, I've been in this thing about 35 years now, travel all over this country, preaching and teaching the Word of God. The reason why I retired from pastoring because at 25 years of age, I had to learn how to talk over again. And now my speech is getting terrible. I think you guys can tell it when I do certain podcasts. Certain words I can't even, I can't even pronounce. My tongue won't even let me do it. And so when I, when I get excited, they get the way I, it sounds like I'd be upset, but I just be trying to frustrated because I'm trying to get my words out. And I can't get my words to say what, what I wanted to say. But anyway, I'm not on here tonight offering no apologies for anything I've said when it comes to tithe. I never told anyone not to pay a tithe. I just was trying to show what the Bible says about tithing. Yes, tithing is in the Bible. But tithing is not of this dispensation. That's my whole point. That's what I've been trying to do, trying to prove. Jesus died to free us from the law. And when we pay tithing, when we tithe, when we be, when we be, when we be, when we when your pastor teach you tithing, he's putting you back under the law. And Jesus gave his life to set us free from the law. And so when you agree to that, you're saying, Jesus, your death is not important to me. Your death don't mean anything. I, I, I wish you'd have left me under the law. You know, the Bible says whoever the Son set free is free indeed. You are not in freedom if, if, if you've been bound to tithing. You're bound to the law. And see, the danger in trying to keep the law is if you're going to deserve the law of tithing, you got to deserve the entire law. Meaning you got to watch you got to watch certain food you eat. You got to you got to watch certain material clothes you wear on your back. You got to watch certain certain things that we do. We're not free to do what 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 we didn't want what we what, what we want to do, like we are under this new covenant, under this new dispensation. And and see, I was trying to show the difference in the required giving under this new covenant, this new dispensation that we're under now. Then it was when the law probably not probably more than likely up on this new dispensation you probably you probably would be given more than a tenth because it it it'd be it'd be like God's putting on your heart what you should give and that's why the church y'all move move more like entertainment it gets you all hyper in in, in, in your flush then they ask for your money put on a good show for you. But back, 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 back to business as, as, as hand. Uh, uh, um, up under this new system, the Bible says we shouldn't give grudgingly or out of necessity. But God love a cheerful giver. That's uh, 2 Corinthians, I think, 9, 6, and 7. Read it for yourself. That's the new covenant given what Jesus left for us to go by. And me personally, this, clock, this Pastor Clark talking now, I believe when, when the Pastor teaches tithing because he has more faith in, in your pocket than he doing in God um, uh, uh, um, than God taking care of his, the church or whatever and that's the part that I don't get and, and, and not probably but I, my, the last church that I passed I, I learned this I'm, I'm speaking from from experience not from something that somebody told me I'm, I'm, I watched it happen because I, I, I was afraid pastor of a very large church and I was afraid of and giving because everything is put on the pastor you got your pastor know what I'm talking about but I watched people give more when they learn this new covenant give when God touched their heart to give some folks will give you the whole check to the church not not the temp they give you every dime when God tell them to that, 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 that's how God the prophet I'm doing doing that month. They'll come to I just want to give my whole my whole my whole salary to the church. And I, I, and the time they'll come say, Pastor, I just want to give you this my, this is my check for this week. I, I just want to bless you with the man of God. You know, you've been faithful. You know, you had you had to run us down about money. He said, I just want to, I just want to see the to give this to you. This for you, not for the church. And I've seen it happen. 
I've been a part of two more that are getting burned. I don't tell you without preaching tidy. And you know, we'd be more concerned about what people give than we'd be about them getting close, a better relationship with Christ. And that's why we see a lot of pastors coming up with gimmicks. Like they, 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 they from one extreme to the next extreme trying to make their finances work and it never will work. Until you do it according to the Bible. Now if you're running a business, it might work. But if you if, if you run in this organism that we in with the church, it won't work. You have to do it the Bible way. And I, I say again, I don't come on and offer no apologies for anything I've said. No, again, I, 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 the tithing is in the Bible. But what I say, it's not of this dispensation. You ain't required to pay a tithe. Up under this dispensation, you're going to be blessed whether you pay a tithe or not. Under the old dispensation where they're teaching in the church, if you don't pay a tithe, you're going to be cursed with a curse. That's Bible. So I would like to get on the night and say, you guys, read your Bible. Study your Word of God. Don't just read it. Study it. Meditate on it. Ask God to op open up your eyes. Ask God to open up your, your, your understanding where you may understand what you're reading. And then you, then you can hold these pastors accountable for what they're teach, teaching y'all teaching today. Like, again, I, I don't get on here claiming to know everything about the Word of God. I got a lot, I learn every day. I, every day I, I pick up some word and it's brand new to me. But I know everything. God has really burdened me with this. Because I remember early on in church, I saw how they would treat the people that paid tithes and the people that didn't. They would treat them different. And, and, and that kind of bothered me. You know, I saw that in the street. To me, that's con. That's game. I saw that then, but but, but when I when I came to church, I was trying to change my life. I wanted to see honesty, and there's a lot of dishonesty going on in God's house today. So again, I offer no apology for anything I've said. I just wanted to get on here and clear the air to tell you guys: study your word for yourself. Read it for yourself, and I guarantee you, I promise you, you'll see where what I'm saying is true. Quit and take them crooks' word for it. Quit taking their word for it. Quit taking your pastor's word and get in that book and learn for yourself. You'll be able to be this cheerful giver that God speaks of. That's all I feel like I want to get on here. I want to get on here and clear the air tonight. And I'm doing this out of love. And, I, and again, before I leave here, some of you pastors, well, all of you pastors listen to me tonight, please repent to God for teaching that doctrine. I won't call it a false doctrine because it is in the Bible. But it's not the doctrine for today. Because you cannot live under the grace and leave grace and go under the law just when it comes to your finances. Oh, they got a lot of scriptures they can turn and twist on you and turn on you and cross rivers and, and make it make sense to maybe some of y'all. But it won't make sense to me. Because I know better. Not telling anyone not to pay a tax. I'm telling you, I'm trying to teach you how to give or you find a way you'll be blessed. Whether you're able to give or not. That's all I'm speaking on tonight. Truly, your, your friend, your brother, your Facebook, your YouTube pastor, Pastor Timothy Clark, I thank God for you. Until next time, be blessed. And may heaven smile upon you.